There is no one way of dealing with people, and I think that's the best advice that I can impart upon anybody who's, who's reading all the books or taking the classics that, uh, classes that have all these dogmatic views of what a director is supposed to be like or what a director is supposed to say or how a director is supposed to act. It's BS. I think the one piece of advice more than anything else is to be realistic. I would say get your business affairs organized and treat what you're doing in the film business as much as you love it. Treat it as a business because it is in fact a business even though it may in fact be something that you do love to do. If you really want to know what it's going to take to make the film or if you truly can make your film, then you want to hire somebody who has the practical knowledge to put those numbers on paper and know what all those numbers mean and know the numbers behind the numbers. Well, this may sound like an odd way to start, but in preparation for being a screenwriter, first thing you want to do is see lots of movies and especially read a lot of screenplays. You need to get familiar with the whole form and the way it tells stories and how things look on the page, uh, especially screenplays for successful movies in the genre you're writing. Then, as you're writing your story, I think the first thing is you want to make sure there are certain key elements to the story. It has to have a hero. It has to have a protagonist. When you start the story, we want to see that character living her everyday life, see where she is before the journey sort of begins. Then something needs to happen to that character about 10% of the way into your script that gives them an opportunity, that creates an initial desire, that takes them into some new situation. So then, for that next sort of 15% of the script, they're in this new place.